Hello, hello, hello. OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So, so excited that you are here. Thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. It's Jody Dunn. And I'm coming at you today with a Walgreens haul and potentially finishing out a Rite Aid haul. I wanted to do the P&G deal again. I'm going to run into the store. I'm actually at the Rite Aid right now to see if they have what I want. Uh, if you're new and you just found the channel, I'm so excited that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there so I can welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thanks so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Let me know if you're doing Walgreens shopping this week. <sighs> you know, Walgreens. I love me some Walgreens. It's where I learned how to drugstore coupon. And thank goodness I had found Michelle's channel who taught me how to use points, what it was called then, on a spend deal and still earn my points back uh, so I can keep my out-of-pocket low. People love or hate Walgreens. <laughs> there is no in-between. A lot of people hate Walgreens. It's because they don't understand how to coupon at Walgreens. Walgreens has a lot of quirks. And listen, I have gotten a lot of messages this week uh, because people are doing the Gillette deal wrong and they're not getting their Walgreens cash back. Even though I've explained it a few times, done detailed videos on it. People are like, I copied your transaction and I didn't get my points back. I'm like, did you use a five off 25 or a 10 off 30? And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, well, then you didn't copy my transaction <laughs> because I did not. And I explained in that video. So we're going to go into Walgreens. I'm going to show you how to do the Gillette Venus deal using a threshold off coupon, making sure that you still get your Walgreens cash back. Those awesome threshold off coupons, the five off 25 and the 10 off 30. Again, I was not blessed with the 10 off 30, which is totally fine because I'm grateful for what I do have. Uh, don't let those awesome coupons stop you from getting your Walgreens cash back. Okay, so I'm going to explain that in full detail for you because I don't want you getting frustrated at the register. Now, if you are a person that likes simple couponing, Walgreens is not the store for you because Walgreens is not simple. It's probably why I love it so much because it has all these little nuances and little quirks that I'm like, oh yeah, I got to remember this and oh yeah, I got to do this because I love figuring things out. <laughs> if you're a person that just wants to go in, hand your coupons or clip your digitals, Walgreens is not the store for you. I'm sorry. But if you can master Walgreens, you can get some amazing, amazing deals and super duper low out of pocket because that's the name of the game for me. So I was going to go to CVS today to do my second haul, but I decided to do this just because of the number of messages I got and because I'm going to see my little Eddie. And Walgreens is super close to home where CVS is not. So I wanted to get my shopping done early this morning so I can go see my little cutie patootie. I'll pop a picture up on the screen so you can see all his cuteness as well. Uh, I don't think I've even showed you. Grayson got some professional uh, photos done and they turned out amazing. All right, so we're gonna head into Walgreens. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And then hopefully we're gonna head into Rite Aid and I will go over all receipts and explain everything at the kitchen table. All right, we are in the Walgreens getting ready to do a spend deal. I have a spend 20, earn $5 in Walgreens cash, and I have a spend 25, get $5 off. I'm going to start this off with the Gillette deal that has been giving y'all some problems. It is on promotion for spend $20, earn $10 back in Walgreens cash. And remember that $5 off 25 is going to go against my spend amount. So I have to make sure I'm spending enough. I will fully explain this at the kitchen table. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a Gillette razor priced at $17.94. And if I didn't already say they are buy one, get one half price. And I have a $5 digital coupon off of the Gillette. And next up, we are going to go for a Venus razor because I have a digital coupon for the Venus as well. 
uh, it's for $5 off. If your store happens to have the ones that are $9.99, that digital coupon won't attach. So don't get that one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to grab this one that is priced at $11.99. And that one will ring up for half price at $5.99. And I'll use the $5 digital coupon. So now I'm at $23.48, but really I'm at just over $21 after I take into account the five off 25. So I'm spending enough to earn my $10 in Walgreens cash back. All right, we're gonna move on to this awesome deal on the Oral-B toothbrushes. You can get the toothpaste too, and I think some mouthwashes included. I'm going for the toothbrushes because I bought a rebate reset. So they are priced at $3.99. And when you buy three, you earn back a $6 register reward and $1 for each one up to three on Ibotta. So I'm going to grab the three of them. They're going to cost me $11.97. I'm going to use the $5 digital. I'll pay $6.97, earn back a $6 register reward and $3 from Ibotta, making these free plus a 203 money maker. My store's all out, but if you can find the Febreze plugs, they're on sale for $2.99 this week, and we got that coupon um, for it for free um, in the PNG. So I wanted to grab it, but my store didn't have any. So we're going to move on to the awesome carefree deal. I got to do this deal again. Uh, they're regularly priced two for $8. And right now we have an IVC that's taking $1 off when you purchase two. So that brings them down to $7. And I have a digital coupon for $6, which makes them just 50 cents each. And again, I'm building my transaction up and using my coupons to pay for my spend requirement. So I need that $6 digital. All right, I didn't, want, I didn't grab it on Sunday, but I definitely wanted to grab it today, which is the Arm & Hammer on sale for $2.99 and we have a $1 digital coupon making that just $1.99 for these scent beads and same deal with the laundry detergent on sale for $2.99 so I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these and I'll use a $1 digital coupon on this bringing that down to $1.99 all right this is everything for transaction one this should turn out to be a nice little money maker we're going to move on and do a little food deal for transaction two we're going to start off with the Coke products, which are on sale three for $9.99. I love it when they do this deal. It's such a great price. So I'm going to go ahead and grab three packages of the Diet Coke because I'm a Diet Coke drinker. And then we are going to move on to this amazing deal. Oh my goodness. If you like the Blue Diamond Nuts, get them at Walgreens this week. They are on sale two for $4.50 which is an awesome price. And the spicy sriracha ones, they're my favorite. I'll be back again to grab a few more of these. And Walgreens gave us a $1.50 off two digital coupon. That's gonna bring these down to just $1.50 a pack. Seriously, great deal on the blue diamond nuts. All right, we're gonna move on to this next awesome deal on the Tyson Anytizers. Uh, they had honey barbecue and buffalo style in my store. I don't think my husband likes buffalo flavor things, but I'm going to get these anyways because I do. <laughs> and he might like them. I might be remembering that wrong. So these are priced at $8.99. And this is a busy aisle. So I'm going to grab my stuff and then I'll explain things to you. Uh, Chobani yogurt is a fantastic deal. It's everyday regular priced two for two dollars or like a dollar 39 each and we have i bought a rebates for 75 cents each which would bring these down to just a quarter and gives you an i bought a rebate so i'm going to grab two of the chobani yogurts okay i have this coupon that printed out of the catalina machine for 20 percent off any regularly priced items over ten dollars i'm not sometimes dairy does not won't count for things like this. So since my um, Tyson's are only $8.99, I'm going to look for something that's a dollar and one cent at least more just to make sure that this 20% off coupon works because I'm just not sure if it'll take the 20% off of the yogurt or not. 
So I'm going to go ahead and just grab one of these little mini, which would be great for my girls to put in their backpacks to take to school. Um, the little mini hand sanitizers, just the Walgreens brand. They're just regularly priced for $1.29 and my 20% um, coupon will definitely apply to that item. All right, so this is everything I'm going to be grabbing for my little food transaction here. So the 20% off is going to take off about $1.79 off of the Tyson, bringing them down to $7.19. I have a $2.50 just for you digital coupon. I also have a $2 that everybody got, but as long as the $2.50 is working that one will come off first because it's a just for you i'll submit to a ibotta for 85 cents back and i scanned the tyson in the store for 30 kicks and there's 750 kicks on shopkick for purchasing so 312 back from shopkick that's gonna bring these down these tyson uh any tizers down to just 72 dang cents all right, we're gonna head into the Rite Aid and do a transaction over there. All right, on Sunday, I brought you a, a Rite Aid transaction where I had some tracking towards the awesome P&G deal and it is a limit of two. I think I had about $6 and some change tracking. So I wanna go ahead and finish that deal out and it is spend 30, earn back $10 in bonus cash. Um, so I'll only need to spend 20 close to $24. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Tide Liquid, which is on sale for $5.94. It's the 46 uh, ounce liquid. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a Downy Unstoppables. Can you believe I have never tried the original? I didn't even realize there was an original scent. Let me know which Downy Unstoppables scent you like best, but that's on sale for $5.94 as well. I'm gonna go ahead and use the $2 paper coupon off of the liquid and the $1 paper coupon off of the Unstoppables. And then I'm gonna finish off this P&G deal with the awesome Febreze products, which are on sale for $2.99 each. And this store looks like it's getting a little bit cleaned out, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of these Febreze Air Effects at $2.99 each. I'm gonna grab four Febreze products in total. And I think for my second two, I'm gonna go ahead and grab two packages of the car clips, which are also $2.99. So now with my uh, Tide, my Downy, and my four Febreze, that's gonna bring me to $23.84. I'm gonna go ahead and use two of the buy one, get one freeze um, from the February PNG off of these Febreze products. And uh, I had $6.77 tracking on Sunday towards this deal. So that will hit the $30 mark with all of these products. So I'll earn back my $10 in bonus cash. But we're not done because we got that awesome coupon for $10 off when you spend 50. So I'm gonna build this transaction up to at least $50. All right, this deal was going on last week and I didn't take advantage of it. Well, it's going on again this week, which is the Rite Aid stationary products are 25% off and when you buy one, you earn back $2 in bonus cash. Deal is a limit of two. So these tapes are priced at $1.49 each. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of them. With the 25% off sale, that'll bring these down to $1.11 each. And I'll earn back $2 in bonus cash on each one, making these two free tapes plus $1.76 a money maker. If you want to grab the wooden rulers, those are even cheaper. I think they're regularly priced at 99 cents. I did a, some clearance uh, shopping on my Sunday haul, but just in case maybe your store doesn't have any clearance, these will give you some other ideas. So I found these. I'll show you where I found them. Um, but these products are all regularly priced, and when you buy one, you earn back $4 in bonus cash. I believe it's a limit of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the safe keys, which are priced at $5.99 each. Now, since these are regularly priced and I am a gold member, my 20% off will apply. So gold price will drop it down to $4.79 each. I'll earn back $8 in bonus cash for buying both of them. Uh, I found these right over here in like the electronic section where they have like the phone cords and things like that in case you are searching in your store. All right, I still need to do one more deal so I can get over that $50 and be able to utilize the $10 off a $50 purchase. 
so I'm going to go for the Neutrogena deal. Uh, they are all regularly priced. They're not on sale, but they are on promotion for when you buy any two Neutrogena, you earn back uh, $6 in bonus cash. So I'm just looking for regular deals in the store that are not clearance that are giving back some bonus cash. Cheapest way to do this would be to grab two of the makeup remover wipes and use the $4 printable coupons. But I have so many of the Neutrogena makeup wipes. I'm going to grab this concealer, which is priced at $10.99. And then I'm going to grab one of these lip products, which is priced at $8.49. So these two total me $19.48, but because they are regularly priced, my gold discount will take off 20%, bringing me down to $15.58 going to use this $4 off the face coupon that I printed from through Swagbucks through coupons.com. So I get paid to print and paid to redeem and my $2.50 off a lip or eye. Plus I have this Catalina that is expiring today for $5 off that I wanted to go ahead and use. So this is everything that I will be grabbing for my transaction at Rite Aid. My total here is $51.22, which will qualify to me qualify me to use that $10 off a $50 purchase. Let's get to the kitchen table and see how all of these transactions turned out. All right, we are back home at the kitchen table. There's the big guy for any of y'all that like to see Gus. He just ate his lunch. Let's go over these. It was another magical day in Cuban. I had one little teeny snag at Rite Aid um, that I don't fully understand yet, but I will definitely figure it out because you know I'm the figure it out girl. All right, let's talk about Walgreens. Oh my goodness. Uh, so basically, I did two transactions. I did one what I would consider a couponing transaction and one where I just grabbed some household needs, grabbed some Ibotta rebates, grabbed some Shopkick rebates, and used the store's dang money to pay for it instead of my own. So here, let's talk about the couponing transaction. So you saw what I grabbed in the store. I did the Gillette and Venus deal, which is spend 20, earn $10 back in Walgreens cash. I grabbed the Carefree liners again, because it's such a fantastic deal. And I had that $6 digital on this other account as well. I did the Oral-B deal again, the toothbrushes, and I grabbed some of the Arm & Hammer. So let's take a look at my receipt. And I'm going to break it down for you so you know exactly how to work with those threshold coupons when you're doing spend deals. Because they're going to screw your spend deal up if you don't know how to do it. All right, so there's my Gillette at $17.49 and my Venus ring up at $5.99. So I spent $23.48 in um, Gillette and Venus products. There's my three Oral-B. Uh, two of them at $7.98 and one of them at $3.99. My two Arm & Hammers at $2.99 each. My Carefree Liners, two for eight with the $1 digital or $1 IVC coupon. I had a $5 off when you make a $25 purchase on this account that came off. This was a totally all digital deal. My $6 off Carefree came off. My five off Venus came off. My five off Gillette came off. My five off of the Oral B came off. My one off Arm and Hammer came off, and my one off Arm and Hammer came off. They all came off. My subtotal was twenty dollars and forty three cents. I used twenty dollars in Walgreens cash, so I paid a subtotal of forty three cents for this transaction. And again, I'm working with a spend deal where you'll hear a lot that you can't use Walgreens cash on a spend deal, but uh, I just did. Uh, I earned back $15.23 in Walgreens cash. I don't hardly have any Walgreens cash on this account because I don't use it that often. I earned back $10 for spending $20 on Gillette and Venus products. And I earned back $5 for spending $20, which was the weekly booster. In addition, I got uh, this coupon for $2.50 off Maybelline. And then I earned my $6 register reward for purchasing the Oral-B. And submitted my receipt to Ibotta for $3 cash back. I took my Sunday receipt. I held it until Monday, submitted it. I did get a midweek um, bonus for $1 when you complete 15. I'm not sure if I'll complete it yet or not. But I submitted that on Monday, so that counted towards my bonus. And I got my $3 from my Sunday haul. 
it just reset. So I submitted it again and got another $3 back. So this transaction right here was a $3.80 money maker. My subtotal was $20.43. I earned back $15 in Walgreens cash, $6 in a register reward, and $3 for my bada. Let's break this down. I spent $23.48 in Gillette and Venus products. The subtotal after the $1 IVC came off of the Carefree was $48.43 for my transaction, which included the razors, the Carefree, the Arm & Hammer, and the toothbrushes. $48.43 is what I spent. I'm working with a five off 25. So I went on my little calculator and I did $5. I just did five divided by my subtotal, which was 48.43. That leaves me with 10.3%. So 10.3% is going to come off of every single product. So 10.3% of my total in razors was 23.48, was $2.41, came off of my razor spend deal because my five off 25 coupon is a store coupon, which cannot be counted towards spend deals. So now that dropped my spend down to 2107, which qualified me to earn back my $10 in Walgreens cash. Now, if you repeated this exact transaction right here and you had a $10 off 30, you have to do 10 divided by your subtotal of 48.43, whatever your subtotal may be. On this one, it was 48.43. That equals 20.6%. 20.6% is coming off of every single product you purchase. 20.6% times the total I had in razors, which was $23.48, equals $4.83. $23.48 minus $4.83 would bring my spend down to $18.65. I would then not be spending $20 in Gillette and Venus razors, and I would not get my $10 back in Walgreens cash. So if I was working with a 10 off 30 and I wanted to do this deal, I would have grabbed a more expensive Venus razor or a more expensive Gillette razor. I would have got my total to where I needed it to be so I still earned back my Walgreens cash. Now, I've had I've explained this so many times and I know kind of what has happened is I've I've drilled it into y'all's head. <laughs> Which I love that your coupons and your cash need to equal your spend deal for you to be able to use Walgreens cash on a spend deal. So I had five, 10, 15, 21, 22, $23 in coupons here. I would have had all of these same coupons, even if I had a 10 off 30. This is not the only requirement to earning your cash back on spend deals. It wouldn't matter if my coupons equaled $100 if I only spent $18.65 in Gillette and Venus, I still didn't meet the spend requirement. It doesn't matter that my coupons were over the $20 when I didn't actually purchase $20 in the product. So I hope that that helps. Again, those coupons are such a blessing. Do not let them ruin your spend deals where you're not getting your cash back. All right, so awesome transaction. Made myself $3.80. My food transaction was not a moneymaker, and that's okay because I would have bought all these things anyways. Uh, it's funny, I went to one store and uh, I walked right over to the Blue Diamond Nuts and they did not have the spicy sriracha at the store. I turned right back around. <laughs> I don't know if they had everything else I wanted. I wanted the spicy sriracha Blue Diamond Nuts. Those are my favorite favorite. They're so delicious. Let me know if you've tried those. So in my second transaction, I grabbed the pop on sale three for $9.99. The Tyson Anytizers, what a fantastic deal on those. I grabbed the two Chobani yogurts, really what a fantastic deal on those. Uh, my Blue Diamond Nuts, and then I grabbed that hand sanitizer because I told you dairy doesn't typically count towards rewards and things like that and so i wasn't sure if that 20 percent off since i had to spend ten dollars in regularly priced items 
would come off the Chobani or not. So I grabbed that mini hand sanitizer. It did come off. So let's take a look. My receipt. There are my two blue diamonds for $4.50. There's all my pop for $9.99 with my dang Michigan bottle deposit. There's my anytizers. The 20% off took off $1.80. The hand sanitizer, the 20% off took off 26 cents. And there's my Chobani yogurt, which the 20% off did take off 20 cents off of each one. So those things cost me 80 cents and I got back 75 cents each and I bought a what? All right, Gus, quiet down, please. Oh, Lord. So there's my 20% off coupon or my... Ten, yeah, my 20% off coupon. Now, if you use a 20% off coupon, that's your store coupon. Your 5 off 25 and your 10 off 30 are not coming off. One store coupon per transaction. My $2.50 just for you off of the uh, anytizers did come off, even though I had the $2 clipped. Because whenever you have a just for you, those will come off before the regular manufacturer coupons. And then my $150 off the blue diamonds. So my subtotal was $23.91. We're going to minus off the bottle deposit because I'll get that back when I return those. And uh, I used $20 in Walgreens cash. So I just used my Walgreens cash to pay for my food. I did get back $2.55 from Ibotta. $0.85 cents for the Tyson Anytizers. $0.75 cents each for the Chobani. Plus, it picked up my pop and gave me a $0.10 cent any rebate for Ginger Pop. And then it gave me a $0.10 cent any rebate for... Cambuco or something like that. Also submitted my receipt to Shopkick. Got the scan kicks in the store and um, the purchase kicks I just submitted, which was $3.18. Those dang anytizers ended up costing me 72 cents. That's fantastic. So there you go. Loving Walgreens this week with all the amazing deals. I moved on over to Rite Aid because I wanted to do finish out my P&G deal because I was already tracking just over $6 from my Sunday transaction that I showed you. So I finished out my P&G deal with the uh, four Febreze products, the Tide and the Unstoppables. And then I was using that awesome $10 off when you spend 50. So I grabbed a couple of more deals and I thought, let me do this one with no clearance in case your clearance or in case your stores don't have any clearance. So I did the Neutrogena deal, which turned out fantastic. I grabbed the Safe Keys, which was an awesome deal. A little moneymaker, I think. Uh, and the moneymaker tape. Thank you. If you get the um, uh, ruler, it'd be even a bigger moneymaker. But I wanted the tape. And then I ended up having to grab candy. Well, I didn't have to grab candy, but I was at the register. And my $5 um, Catalina that I had earned that was expiring today that I had earned two weeks ago, I think, from Huggies, um, told the cashier that I needed to spend another $3.72. I don't know why, but I'll figure that out. It must have something to do with my using it with my 10 off 30. I'm not sure. So whatchamacallits were on sale for 88 cents. These were on sale two for three. This, These two actually might be part of a bonus cash deal. I'll have to look at that. So that was everything I grabbed Without the, having to add in the candy, which cost me uh, $3.88, this, this transaction would have been a money maker. So if you don't have a $5 Catalina to use, um, this whole transaction I think was almost a $3 money maker by itself with that awesome 10 off of 30. Now this store doesn't have great receipts, but there's my whatchamacallit for 88 cents. My Neutrogena gave me the gold discount for $8.79, I think. And look at my face product uh, or my lip product attached to it. My Neutrogena lip product rang up for $5.19 or $5.79. Uh, my face product attached to it. Um, there's the tape. It rang up for $1.11. I got two, no, $1.01. I got back $2 in bonus cash for each one of those. How fantastic. There's my Downy for $5.94 with my $1 paper coupon. My Tide for $5.94 with my $2 paper coupon. There's my 10 off 50 coming off. There's my Febreze, $2.99 each with my $2.99 coupon and $2.99 each with my $2.99 coupon. There's my Safe Keys. Those rang up for $4.79 and I got $4 bonus cash for each. So those ended up costing me $0.79. Cents. But really when I factor in the 10 off 50, 
they were a money maker. And then the Reese's on sale for two for three dollars. So, and then my five dollar Catalina did go through once I added that candy. My subtotal was twenty four dollars and sixty two cents. I used bonus cash. I didn't even swipe my PayPal debit card. And then I earned back $28 in bonus cash. Oh my gosh. So if you don't want to count the $5 Catalina, it would make this a $3 and some change money maker, but I'm going to count the Catalina. So really, even though my subtotal was $24.62, it was actually $29.62 is what I used in store money to pay. And I earned back 28, which makes all of this a cost of $1.92. And frankly, I'll pay $1.92 for these deliciousness. <laughs> so I'm not mad at this transaction. Again, if I wouldn't have used the $5 Catalina, uh, it would have been like a $3 moneymaker. Rite Aid is amazing again this week. Let me know if you're doing any shopping at Rite Aid. And hopefully that cleared it up at Walgreens of how to figure out your spend deals when you're using those threshold coupons. Again, I know I've done videos on them before, but I've been flooded this week with messages of people doing this deal and they're not getting their $10 Walgreens cash because they're using the threshold coupons and they're not calculating it correctly. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much and I'm going to see you again soon. Bye!